are and always will be my best friend. You are unapologetically you and don't compromise for anyone. You are the strongest and most committed person I know. You're so kind, passionate, and caring. You do everything with love and passion and positivity. <laughs> you wear chubbies. <laughs>Who would have guessed that I would be here today for something as amazing as this? It just blows my mind that we'd be able to be able to be here 30 years later before these two were even born and be able to celebrate with them something so special. Patrick's overarching character is that of a genuine person. He follows through on his commitments. He puts others before himself. He's collected and calm in stressful times. He's charismatic and he's determined. He's all I could ask for in a brother-in-law, and I'm proud I could stand up with you there on Saturday. She's such a hardworking, dedicated person and takes pride in everything that she does. I know for a fact, this is exactly how she will be as a wife to Patrick as well. Rebecca is a very unique person. She's definitely one of a kind. She has been there for me whenever I needed her. She's smart, she's beautiful, and she's the best little sister that anyone could ever dream of. Sorry. She's also strong. She's independent, she's intelligent, and time and time again, as the Leonard name proves, she is constantly thinking of others, even during times of her own need. Rebecca and Patrick have been a really fun couple to watch through the years. So they started out with college kids, just hanging out, and now they are these adults with jobs, taking care of this house full of cats. <laughs> I'm still waiting for cat number four. Belle needs her friends. Cheers. Rebecca, I met your father before the two of you were even born. He probably told me things that you didn't know he felt. Um, I can tell you he adored you all. In that, I know that he cared deeply about where you would be and everything that would happen in your lives. And Rebecca, I know he was proud to be your father for your whole life. He told me all the time. And I think that's something that you all should know. He used to tell me that all the time. As I've gotten to know you in particular, Rebecca, I absolutely understand why. I know why he was so proud of you because all those things Ryan said about you are true. What I've found is that you're part of our family. You've been part of our family for several years and Rebecca treats all of us like we're part of her family as well. Or, or hope to be I owe to you. I love you. What'd you say? You read it. Cynthia, thank you for raising the man of my dreams. Oh. Oh. Somewhere. But it's engraved somewhere. She asked you. What's wrong with you? I know. We need it. We need tissue. So Patrick, uh, number one, I think everybody knows this. Patrick is a goofy guy. <laughs> like, he just is, all right? He always, like Mr. Leo said, he has the best time and everyone else around him has the best time whenever we're around him. He makes everybody else feel like they're having the time of their life. The responsibility that I feel now as my son is marrying Rebecca. I think about that. Will he be good to her and good for her? And I can tell you that I take comfort, Rebecca, that Patrick will be good to you and good for you for three real reasons. Um, one, um, and this has been an evolution over time, but Patrick has always been this way. He are really fun to be around. <laughs> I'm so happy you are marrying my little sister. She deserves all the happiness in the world, and there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that you are that person for her. She has always loved you, 
and to see a smile on her face every time she mentions your name is nothing short of amazing. The other is Patrick is very, very good at being serious when he needs to, he can commit. All his life I've watched Patrick, I've watched you commit to the things that you take seriously. And I know, Rebecca, that he'll be committed to you as well. And there's another thing about, about my son that I, I, I will say, but it's not because he's my son, is that you're one of the most caring people that I know. There isn't one thing I don't love about you I will always find the best in you, and I promise to never give up on us, no matter what we face. Damn. <laughs> now I see why she made us get these books. <laughs> and I don't feel as bad because I know she wrote hers today too. <laughs> Love always, Patrick. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that is slick. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Yep, infinity sign. It has been a privilege to watch Rebecca and Patrick's friendship grow and develop into true love over the years. And I have never met two people more meant to be for each other. <laughs> Rebecca and Patrick have known each other for over 20 years and truly belong together for a lifetime. I feel very honored to know you both and be part of your special day. As Adrian Monk would say, he's the guy. And Rebecca, he is definitely the guy. Congratulations to you both. Take you as my best friend. And partner. <laughs> and partner. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. And always make you a priority. And always make you a priority. I pledge to honor, encourage, and support you. Through our life together. Through our life together. In the darkest times, I promise to be your beacon of light. With you, I vow to repair. Our small piece of this world. Our small piece of this world. To always remember that together. We can accomplish more. We can accomplish more. Than we could alone. Than we could alone. I choose you to be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. And trusting who you will become. And trusting who you'll become. With every beat of my heart. I will love you. I will love you. So marriage is not only about love and how much you love each other. Um, it's about putting one another's hopes and dreams above your own about being a rock for one another in the good times and in the bad, and always being a best friend to one another. 
and waking up every morning choosing each other every day. And that's a true definition of love. And Patrick and Rebecca, I see you guys do that every single day. In the words of the great Albus Dumbledore, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I'm so glad you found your treasure, Rebecca. I wish you and Patrick all the happiness in the world. Thirty years ago, when I walked into that office, who would have guessed that I would be able to propose a toast to Rebecca and Patrick, to their commitment to one another, to the laughter that they share, to the happiness that they will share, to their deep caring for one another, and to the love that I know they both share. Congratulations. May you have all the love you ever wanted, and may you give even more. Cheers. Cheers. Family and friends, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Louisiana, I am pleased to pronounce Patrick and Rebecca as husband and wife. Patrick, you may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Rebecca Denault.